creating a job based on state plane grid coordinates in Survey Pro. From the home screen, we'll tap on the menu at the top left of the screen, then tap File, and tap Open New. Go to the bottom under Create a New Job and tap New. And for this job, I'll call it State Plane. Then we'll tap on our settings. Go ahead and set up your units the way you need them as far as azimuth type, grid direction, the units for distances and angles. And then we'll tap next. Not going to use a control file or a reference file for this job, so we'll just tap next. We will want to select a coordinate system here in, able to, in order to set it up for state plane. So tap that to check that box. Make sure the radio button for zone from database is selected. Then under the region, use the drop down arrow, go down to the bottom for US State Plane, and we want to choose US State Plane 1983. Then we're going to choose our zone. For this job, I'm going to choose North Carolina 3200. So again, we use the drop down arrow and scroll to the state that you're working in. Now some states have multiple zones like, you know, Kentucky has a south single zone, north, Kansas has a south and north, uh, Virginia has north and south, Georgia has east, west, so know what zone that you're working in. Here North Carolina only has one zone, so I'll choose North Carolina 3200. And by default our datum is going to be NAD 1983 CONUS, and that's what we want. You do want to select Use Geoid Model, and this is especially important if you're using a VRS network. If you are doing GPS work, especially with the VRS network or any kind of network RTK, and you do not use a Geoid Model, then you will store ellipsoid heights instead of orthometric elevations. And what you'll notice is your elevation will be somewhere between 92 and 100 feet here on the East Coast you'll be about 92 to 100 feet low if you don't use a geoid model. So we want to check that box and then use the drop down menu to choose geoid 12B CONUS. That's the latest one for the United States. If this is not loaded, you'll need to go to the Spectre Precision website, download it and put it in the geodata folder on your data collector. So we'll choose geoid 12B CONUS and then tap next. We could enter a first point if we have a point on the job. This is a state plane job, so whatever you do, make sure you do not enter 5,000, 5,100, or any other uh, assumed coordinate. We're working in a real coordinate system here. So not only will this blow your map screen out where your state plane points will be you know, way far away from this beginning point, but if you try to do assumed coordinates inside a real projection, it will cause warping of your data and your, your coordinates will not match up with what you measure in the field. So I'm going to uncheck that box and start a job with no new points in it and then we'll tap finish. Now if I tap back on my home screen you'll see there's my job name state plane and I am all set up to work in state plane grid coordinates. Important to know that whether I use GPS or total station all my data is going to get is going to get scaled to grid distances. We are working on state plane with grid distances, so everything is going to get scaled to grid. GPS or GNSS and total station data will all be in grid.